Good evening. We'll be taking a break from reporting on how the January 6th committee is attempting to create an insurrection by reporting on an insurrection that never happened to give you the full scoop on what the hell is going on with the ratings of the network news shows. Who's the king and who's the peasant? Tucker Carlson or Anderson Cooper? Stay tuned to find out, and we'll also be taking a look at where our news show ranks in comparison. Mediate published cable news ratings for Wednesday, January 8th. What were the results? Well, they'll probably surprise you. You'd expect that CNN would lead the way with at least 81 million viewers. But unfortunately, Dominion wasn't doing the polling. What the polls did reveal is that Fox News obliterated the competition. And no matter how much CNN identified as the winner, the viewers identified CNN as the loser. By far. CNN topped the bottom of the charts with 517,000 viewers on average per primetime show. And Fox News came in with 2.57 million viewers per primetime show. Is that almost five times more viewership than CNN got? I think the Great Reset's lost its inertia. Now it's yet to air, yet we believe CNN will soon be reporting on how Fox News averages 2.57 million white supremacists per primetime show. And we look forward to convincing you that that's true as soon as we get the green light. But let's break the viewership numbers down for a better look. At the 10 p.m. slot, CNN's Don Lemon pulls in 439,000 viewers. Impressive compared to Fox's 10 p.m. slot filled by Laura Ingram with 2,045,000 viewers. Now, according to real-life statistics made up and given to us by George Soros, she only gets more viewers because this country has a major problem with women who don't have penises taking away opportunities from women who do have penises. And Laura Ingram is part of this problem. This just in! We're also still supposed to not know what a woman is. And in the 9 p.m. slot, you have CNN Tonight coming in with 474,000 viewers, compared to Fox's Sean Hannity with 2,519,000 viewers. What? That's over five times what CNN gets. This is why equal opportunity isn't right. We need equal outcomes. It shouldn't matter which show people want to watch more. We need equanimity where you have to watch the shows you don't want to watch just as much as you watch the shows you do want to watch. This is why socialism and communism works so well to make all people equally poor. This just in! In an effort for the NBA and NFL to become even more woke, we have early reports that they'll soon be announcing a socialism model of scorekeeping. This is where teams will end all games tied with an equal number of points regardless of which team played the game better. This will ensure the social justice of equality of outcome. Makes sense, right? The new equality of outcome scoring system is coincidentally scheduled to go in effect in the year 2030, which is the exact same year that Klaus Schwab says you'll own nothing while he's happy about it. And in the 8 p.m. time slot, CNN's Anderson Cooper comes in with an impressive 637,000 viewers compared to Fox's Tucker Carlson, who barely edges him out with 3,145,000 viewers. Hmm, I wonder why CNN is the loser by far across the board in ratings. One theory is that Americans are getting tired of tuning in to propaganda that works against them and would rather tune in to honesty that works for them. This is obviously dangerous behavior, and it's looking like shifting the ratings back to where they should be might require us to do another pandemic. The wheels of which are already in motion. Stay tuned, because fear sells. Right, CNN? That's all fun and games, but the viewers of our show want to know where does We Lie to You News rank in comparison to CNN? Well, given that CNN is a massive operation with over 4,000 employees and an operating budget of many millions, and we're just a two-man operation, let's find out. And to be generous, we'll take a look at the viewership of our show compared to CNN's top-rated show. Again, Anderson Cooper with 637,000 viewers on the June 8th broadcast. Comparing that to our recent news episode entitled We're Here to Brainwash You, which was released right around the same time the polls took place, our show came in with 1,015,011 viewers. 
which kind of makes it look like we get more views than CNN's top rated show. But that's just a one time thing, I'm sure. So let's take a look at some other samples. The news episode we released right before that one, entitled We Treat You Like a Moron, came in with over 842,000 viewers, which I guess is over 200,000 more than CNN's top rated show. Oh, but also the one we released right before that, Be Anderson Cooper by Even More. No, not that one. That wasn't a news episode, so it doesn't count. No, not that one. Not that one either. Yeah, that one. This news episode had over 987,000 views, which beats CNN's top rated show by over 300,000 views. And it beats all other shows on CNN by an even bigger margin. And you make this possible. Probably the only sensible explanation for why our news show gets more views than the far left network of CNN is because we lean even further left. Proud to do it. And you, as a viewer of this show, might just start to think that we're on the side of the majority. But of course, you're wrong and don't have permission to think that. Because CNN tries to make you think that if you love freedom, then you're just a part of a small fringe minority. And because they only get a small fringe minority of viewers, I think they know what a small fringe minority of viewers looks like and where they stand. All hail propaganda. So in conclusion, for some reason, CNN's popularity seems to directly match the popularity of the leftist politicians that are also falling in the polls. While Fox News and Tucker Carlson are clearly dangerous to society and will require us to take away more of your free will in order to protect you from their free speech. While our news show being measurably more popular than any news show on CNN should make them feel embarrassed. Good night.